There's not a cloud in the sky. It doesn't look like. It's so a little warm out there. That's, well, yeah, it's a little warm out there. It's hot, guys. It's, it's not hot. warm. It's hot. It's hot. Um, but hello, everyone. I hope you had a really good rest of your Monday. Today is Tuesday, and we're going to be making a really, really cute craft today, working only with fonts. Usually, we will use something uh, with a font and a file, or maybe a font and a dingbat. But today, we're using just fonts today, exactly one font. So we're going to be creating a really, really cute personalized sign with Cricut. And we're going to be using one of our 160 plus fonts from Makers Gonna Learn. And if you don't know what Makers Gonna Learn is, it's an awesome die cutting community. And if you have a die cutting machine that works with SVG or PNG cut files, then you can get crafty with our membership too. We have over a thousand digital cut files. Like I mentioned, almost 200 fonts. More are added all the time as well as cut files. We have amazing printable guides like this one. So much online training, an exclusive Facebook group, a free commercial license for yearly members, and so, so much more. So if you guys would like to opt in to this amazing deal, it is actually $20 off and that expires tomorrow. The sale ends tomorrow. So please, please, please get your memberships, guys, using the code MAKE, M-A-K-E, at checkout and get $20 off your yearly membership. You definitely want that savings. It's a great savings and the membership is amazing anyways. But Blake, who do we have joining us today? Is everyone happy and getting crafty today? They are. Annette is joining us today. Hi, Annette. Lisa, Michelle. She says hi, Ra Rachel and Blake. Hello. Um, yes, me and Blake. Annette said that to you. Uh, Melanie's on today. Well, hello, everyone. I hope you all are having a great Tuesday morning. We're here a little bit early. I do apologize for that. But like I said, Things happen in our lives, you know, sometimes we can't control things. So we're here a little early today. I hope that's okay. But it's better than not crafting at all, in my opinion. So I'm happy to be here. Rachel, well. how's your friend? I feel like they want to know too. Well, I, I can't. The thing is, uh, I was told by her not to tell anybody. Oh, okay. Then no. No, man. but no, it's not that. <laughs> but like, because she didn't want someone announcing on social media before her or, oh, you know, telling okay. a ton of people. So the only people that know is like four people in her family. But it just so happens that none of my crafty friends here are like intertwined with my childhood friends like that. But, <laughs> so it's like you guys I know won't tell anybody. But she's all about her privacy. She really just wants her privacy. But uh, she's there. She's been induced. So she, oh, we're just yay. like waiting. Her mom has been sending me a text updates and I'm driving down with her mama um, today. As soon as she calls me, she's, I'm ready when she is, she's ready. I've got my bag and I'm just like ready to go. You Let's, have, you have your, uh, labor bag. I've got my labor bag. <laughs> yes. And Bailey has mentioned a few things that she has forgotten. So I've grabbed those for her and we're just, we're excited. So tomorrow that she's going to have a baby and I'm going to be a godmother and I'm really excited. Wow, but Rachel. thanks, thanks for asking Blake. I know, I know you all are pretty curious, but in my personal life, it's totally fine. Welcome. You're welcome to ask questions. But guys, the membership is on sale. You need to go get your membership. And I would recommend getting your yearly membership because guys, if you're a monthly or six monthly member, because there are those tiers as well, you cannot get crafty with fonts. Fonts are a yearly member perk only. So that kind of stinks. But in the same way, if you say yes to crafting with us for an entire year, then we want to give you guys the opportunity to kind of be rewarded for that. So if you pay that one time monthly sum, all at one time because it's you know just paid once a year then we give you things like the free commercial license access to the fonts and uh, three free e-courses and good stuff like that we hold nothing back from our yearly members and our monthly and six monthly members have a fun time too but the yearly membership is definitely the way to go but enough of me talking i'm going to jump into design space unless we have any questions this is a great live stream to go ahead and ask any questions that you guys might have Live streams in general are great to ask questions. I'll go through the supplies that we have first. I'll switch cameras or I'll have Blake switch cameras. And I'll show you guys, I know you love seeing the tags of everything. So I'll show you guys all the tags. This uh, is from Hobby Lobby. And here's the tag of it. This guy was only, I don't think it says the price on here, but we're gonna be using this little guy here and this cute little vine garland. And this is actually from the wedding section of Hobby Lobby. This was $2.99. This was on sale, 50% off. They have their wedding stuff on sale uh, often. And this is six feet, six feet of garland. 
But guys, let me just tell you, we're going to use it just like this. We're not going to cut it. We're not going to do anything different. This is just how we're going to use it. But we've got these two things. And now, guys, I could have cut myself a plank of wood. I could have got some jute. I could have stained it myself. I could have sanded it myself. But guys, if you find at the craft store for like five bucks or under, it's just worth it to go ahead and purchase it, okay? Now, that doesn't mean that we cannot get crafty because I, I have the supplies to make this right now. I could make this for you guys. But it's just so much easier to focus on the design space and the designing in there and make sure this project turns out great. So I'm going to be skimping a little bit, cheating a little as it were, and getting a little more finished blanks here so that we can focus on design space because our design space tutorial today is going to be a little lengthier. It's going to be a little meatier, but it's going to be really, really fun for you guys to, to figure out how to do this. So we're going to get started. Blake, do we have any questions before we do? Um, I think we're good. Tanner's watching. Oh, hi, Tan Tan. And they're Tanner, really excited guys, to see him. Tanner wanted us to relay the message that he really, really misses you guys. He does miss you guys. He does. It's been a long time since he's been this long without going live like himself so he he's probably really missing you guys and crafting and i don't blame him you know i really really don't i haven't been away from you guys too terribly long so i'm sure he does miss you and i'm sure he's ready to be back and to launch the brand new christmas in july files uh next week but we're gonna get going on this guys again if you want access to this font and almost 200 more you have to be a yearly member. Now you don't just get fonts as a perk of being a yearly member. You get so many perks. You get all the normal perks that the monthly six monthly members get. On top of that, you also get access to the fonts um, and three free e-courses and the free commercial license, which helps you to build a business and to make money with your Cricut because you can take what you make today and you can sell it to Facebook Yard Sale, sell it on Etsy, whatever you'd like to do. But, okay guys, we're gonna be using text today and we're going to go over here and we're going to search spontaneous this is one of i love the, that font yes like i do too it's one of the makers to learn fonts it's one of our favorites i would call it like a staple font we use this one all the time so uh we're going to top out l capital l and then we're going to go back to text back to system type spontaneous we're going to type in capital v e now you're going to be like rachel Honey, what are you doing? But what's going to happen, guys, is the vision that I'm having here, okay? Let me, let me go out a little bit. The vision I'm having is that this would have white iron-on letters, love, but I'm going to skip the O because I want this beautiful little garland to be our O, so it will say L-O-V-E. And then we're going to take uh, this here, as you can see up here, and we're going to write the established date. This, this is something you can... Uh, very much personalized for you or for someone that you know is getting married. You could do the actual date like September, whatever, whatever, or August, but you know, whatever. Um, but this is the vision I'm having for this, and it's going to look really, really cute with the garland and the little date in the garland. So I'm really excited for it. So just bear with me here. Now, this is going to take a lot of maneuvering around, you know, and making sure everything's straight and all that good stuff. So you can go over to your settings if you're on iOS and go ahead and turn Smart Guides on for a little while and this will help you out a bit. So Smart Guides is on. Now we're gonna be doing a lot of measuring, a lot of double checking in design space here. So first of all, we can make this as long as we, uh, as long as the board is. So we're gonna go ahead and measure the board. And lengthwise, the board is just a little under 12 inches. So we're gonna go ahead and select both of these and go to edit. And we're gonna go with a width of 11. Now that guy is a lot bigger and you can see we have plenty of room here and because we know that it is level here we don't have to fix that but we need to know how much room we need in between the L and the V to make the O. Now Blake I'm going to stop right here. Do we have any questions at all? I think we're good. They were just wondering what the font was. It's spontaneous. Okay yes this is spontaneous. It's one of our fonts that makers are going to learn. It's a beautiful font whether it's an uppercase or lowercase, we're using uppercase today for the most part. But so now again, we have to know how much room we need between these two letters. Now, we did size it so it could be perfect. You know, the, the ratio of letters here could be perfect. We don't know that. So we're going to go ahead and measure this guy just to see. And from like um, leaf to leaf, I'm going to do like eh, 
four inches. We'll give it a little bit too. So what we're going to do to uh, show that length is we're going to go to shapes and we're going to get a circle. And we're going to take that circle, we're going to go to edit, and we're going to do a width of four. And of course that'll make it four by four. And you can put this right here in the middle and see that it fits really, really well. So just for the sake of ease here, we're going to go over here to the layers panel and switch this color to white because we just need this as like a little outline for us. So this is looking really cute, but before we go any further, uh, now that we know that our garland is going to fit perfectly with the length of the board and in between the L and the V, we're going to take that circle out, get both of those, go to actions, we're going to weld that puppy. We're just going to weld it. You can attach it, that's fine. I'm welding it. I, I'm not going to change this guy, so I'm welding it. So now we've got our circle here and we're going to go back over to our text and we're going to use spontaneous again. And let me see what we decided to do was established. Okay. So we're going to go EST dot and then we're out. Okay. Then we're going to go back to add a uh, text system spontaneous 2018. Now I'm going to move this out of the way. I can move all this around if I want to. Now I'm going to start because you know we need to current this, okay? So we're going to go to actions. We're going to ungroup it. And I'm going to bring my S and my E in here. And that smart guide's will lock into place for us. I'm just going to scoot that E over just a little bit. Got to be careful with that. While you're carrying that, Linda had a really good question. Let me hear it. She said, can I use the Air 2 with light chipboard on a on an Air 2 with a deep blade? Well, that is a good question. There are some little hacks, some little workarounds for using chipboard and using things like that on your Explore Air 2. And guys, for those of you wondering how to do that, what was her name? Linda. Linda. Guess what we have, Linda? We have a, an amazing die cutting pro course just for the Cricut, okay? And it is perfect for you. We have 21 projects in this bad boy and it is, it is a, a course, so you have videos and then you can purchase the uh, ebook. And this ebook is 166 pages. And in here, we give you all the tips and tricks so that you know how to cut chipboard with your Explore Air 2. So, whether you've had your Cricut for a day, whether you've had it for 10 years, and you feel like you know everything there is to know about your Cricut Maker, even though it's not even been out two years, you know what I'm saying. If you think you know all you know, I challenge you to take this course and be amazed at all the new tips and tricks and techniques that you will learn. And guys, this course is on sale. It actually is on sale. So for $30 off, you can get this course, all the goodness in it for $30 off. And you, that's using the code PRO2 at checkout. So definitely use that code. And don't forget the membership is also $20 off as well. But that's a great question. We love, we love those. Blake, is there any other questions? Um. So if they ran out of heat sheets uh, for fabric, could you use regular transfer tape or will it burn? If they run out of heat sheets for what? Uh, for fabric. For fabric, huh. Um, you can't use regular transfer tape because that's for adhesive vinyl. Um, I would suggest, I, I don't do a lot of using the Cricut with fabric. I probably have done it twice. Um, I, I don't know. Um, uh, they have heat tape, which I know is really helpful in certain situations. And there's the, the Teflon sheets that's really helpful. I don't know if you're wanting something super sticky. Like, I don't know if it has to be sticky or not. I'm sorry, though. I don't ever do really any fabric on the maker. I should because we have the rotary blade. But I, what I cut most with that's felt. But I, I'm sorry. I wish I could help you a little bit more. But that's a good question, though. We're going to go over to edit. Now that we have a current air established the way we want to, I'm just going to go to actions and weld that baby uh, just before I forget. We're going to go to edit on the 2018 and we're going to go uh, letter space. We're going to take that down like three or four points. And I'm going to select both of these and I'm going to go to align and I'm going to align center. And what that's going to do, I love using align because that just makes sure everything is centered and really, really pretty with my um, letters and stuff. Oh no, I didn't mean to do that. Settings. Ashley said that she thought it was you could only use a maker for chipboard. Well, that's what I'm saying. If you get the pro course, 
we have some tips and tricks that help you because you absolutely can use chipboard with your Explore Air 2. <coughs> That's a good question. You're the one that asked it. My answer is yes. You can use chipboard with the Explore Air 2, but there's, there's like a very specific uh, type of way that you have to do it. it. It's a lot more complicated than having the Maker because it, it does not cut nearly as um, much, pre with as much pressure as the Maker does. So you definitely have to pay attention and know the exact tips and tricks when using chipboard and trying to cut chipboard with the Explore Air 2. But that is all in the uh, Cricut Pro course. If you want to go and get that, you are more than welcome. It is $30 off using the code um, PRO2. But once we have this going, now we have another thing to measure. We need to measure the inside of our little garland here because we want to see how big we can make our established. So we're going to get this here. And we know the whole thing is around four inches, but the inside I'm going to do about two, two and a half looks good to me. So we're going to take this guy, go to edit, we're going to do a width of 2.5. And that looks really good. So now you can see our circle is in there, so we, that's where our garland will be, and then our established 2018 will be there. And that looks a little bit big, so I'm going to just size that down a little bit. And now you can kind of see where this is going, guys, how cute this is really looking. And we're using one font for this whole thing and using a shape to really kind of give us a little bit of, of help here. So what we're going to do is we're going to move this around. I'm going to take this out, move this back. Well, now I kind of need this in here to make sure it's centered. But just center this up as best as you can. And then, since that's welded, you can go to Layers, select that layer. That way it's a lot, lot easier then you can erase that. And once that's erased and you have everything the way you want to, you know it's in the center, take every bit of it, actions, weld it up. Weld the whole thing. You will not be sorry for welding that whole thing. So once you have this done, I'm going to erase that one because we already have one finished here. Once you have this done, you can see we have one layer. Everything is welded. Everything is done. Now all we have to do is put our, um, put our, material on the map, cut it, weight it, and then heat it with our easy press. And that is what I'm most nervous about <laughs> because uh, the easy press, I, I don't know, Tanner loves to um, iron on wood and it is a very fun thing to do. Sometimes it's very temperamental. I ironed on wood yesterday for something and oh my goodness was it just not happening for me. And I really thought that I had chosen some really, really good uh, flat, thin, straight wood and I did, but it's just like it just didn't want to cooperate. So we're going to be using Stella today, the Baby Easy Press 6x7. We have a lot more control with her. So we're going to take this. And guys, just to let you know, this is iron-on. We're using HTV. You could use vinyl, but I wish you guys could kind of feel this wood. I just don't think that vinyl would stick to this wood very well. It is smooth, but it's not like smooth, smooth. And if, if this is a fail, I will get vinyl and try it with vinyl. Um, I don't, I don't know though. I didn't buy two of these. This was the last one in the store. So let's just hope and pray that I have one in my car. One of these? Yep. This exact thing? Yep. How? For photography. Really? Yep. Wow, Blake. Well, Blake will probably just sacrifice his photography when, if this goes south. Sure, it'll but, peel right off, I guess. But HTV, it comes with its own transfer tape, uh, transfer paper rather, which is why it's shiny on one side and dull on the other. And you always want to lay iron-on shiny side down on the mat. So uh, this is the actual material here. And this is why you have to mirror your image because it is going shiny side down and you're weeding it backwards. And when you pull it up, it's finally right side up. So this is why you have to mirror it. So we're just going to lay this on the mat just right here. Annie is and a new Cricut owner, and she just recently found our channel. Oh my gosh, congratulations uh, to have your Cricut. I'm excited for you. I absolutely love the Cricut. I love the Cricut Maker. Um, I started working with the Explorer Air 2 whenever I did start, and it, it does not even come close to comparing to the Maker. The Maker is amazing, and I hope that you got the Maker. But new Cricut owner, any, any type of Cricut, congratula congratulations. I hope that you enjoy the um, site and all that it has to offer. Please, please, please go check out Makers and Learn, especially since you are a new cricketer. You will absolutely not regret it. 
But we're going to go ahead and press make it now. We're going to replace what was on the mat. We can see this is going to fit beautifully. Do not forget to uh, turn that mirror on because again, this is iron on just like we talked about. It has to go shiny side down. It has to cut backwards. So that's why we're mirroring it. We're going to press continue. And we're going to give it more pressure as always after you select iron on. But guys, if you want to be able to make this, you have to be a yearly member. Fonts are just for yearly members only. So definitely go get your membership. It's $20 off. And if you have a monthly, six monthly membership and you want to upgrade, you can absolutely do that as well. So we're going to switch over here and press that flashing cricket button. And my iPad is um, dying, so I'm going to plug it up. But Blake, do we have any questions? Um, Erin said she's a new subscriber and has loved making so many things with our fonts. Oh my gosh, listen guys. And what oh, is it? You, 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 you no, you go first. Okay, this I was just, just going to say question. that the fonts was like one of the biggest things that we launched we were so excited about because there are no limitations with fonts. You have literally the alphabet, you can make it personalized, you can do whatever you want with fonts. If you see something straight off Pinterest and you're like, oh, I wish there was a cut file for that. If you're a yearly member, you can make it out of a font. If it's, you know, one of those beautiful quote things or whatever like that. And you have to be a yearly member to have access to those. And it's just, it opens up so many possibilities for crafting. And if you have the yearly membership, then you already have the free commercial license and things like that. So take advantage of those fonts. Make money with your Cricut. People pay big money for personalized items. Let me tell you. People feel like they would have no idea how to make a monogram for a mug. You can sell that puppy for five, six bucks and you know that you got it out of your scrap bin and you would have thrown it away otherwise. I mean, you have so much crafty potential and with our fonts, you can really maximize that. And again, that's only for yearly members. So definitely go either get your membership or upgrade that membership. It's a good one. But this is already done cutting. Oh, so I'm going to wow. unload it. We have a question. Okie dokie. Linda would like to know, what is the name of our 9x9 nine nine easy press? Which one? Which one? Yeah, we Which have two. One? Yeah, we have... The blue uh, one is Tony. The blue one is Tony. And the, and other then one the red is one is Minnie. Yeah. And uh, like Minnie Mouse, not like M-I-N-I, -I, like it's the Minnie. It's Minnie Mouse, like Minnie. And then our blue first generation is Tony. The big 10x12 is Big Papa. And then this is Stella. Um, I don't know why I feel the need to name things. I really, really don't. Um, it's it's like a, it's like it's a sickness, guys. It really is. A sickness. What's your name? What's your car's name? My car's name is yeah. Maxine. Maxine. She's a oh Nissan yeah, I knew that. Maxine. So Maxine. I named her Maxine. She uh, my aunt bought her brand new in 01. I didn't know that, Rachel. Yeah, it was Kathy's car. Joseph's mom, if oh you know gosh. Joe, it was Joseph's mom's car. Uh, she bought it brand new. And yeah, in 01. And then she got a, a new car when I, right, right around the time that I started driving when I turned 15 and got my permit. So um, mom bought it for me for my first car. She bought me and my sister both our first car. Uh, so, but then after that, oil changes, gas, everything, that was on us. But mom said, we'll give you your first car. And listen, guys, I was, I was spoiled right with my first car. That thing, that thing's a V6 and she flies okay they don't make them like they used to the maxima yeah no <laughs> she's great i absolutely love my car i wouldn't if if the wheels fell off i'd flintstone it for a while you know like i absolutely love that car um when i when this one when she just like kaputs if i take her to the shop and they're like eight grand to fix it i'll be like okay sorry i'd have to retire but i will get another nissan maxima you really? can't be a nissan or huh. a to toyota toyota's first they say Toyota is like the best car ever, is the brand, and then Nissan second. Honda's third. My and, mom drives a a, a, a a Toyota. I forget. Well, Toyota, man, they'll you'll run them into the ground. Tanner's mom. I drive a Jeep. Tanner's mama, Sally, has over 400,000 miles on her Toyota 4Runner, and she is still driving it. <laughs> she is still driving that thing. And that's what I'm telling you, you know, like, the, the cars that they make now, it's almost like they make them just to stop running, like iPhones. They make them yeah. to, to just like start breaking and after a while. cars are so while. expensive now. Like They are. And if you don't take care of them, yeah. if you forget to change your oil, uh, me and Blake have a mutual friend, Blake, you know who I'm talking about, who literally has blessed her heart, ruined one car and almost ruined a second one. 
grinding her engine on absolutely no oil because she forgot to change her oil. I don't know the friend. <laughs> yeah, you do, Blake. But it's just stuff like that. Like you, you got to stay on it. You know, the car. It's it's a big responsibility, and you got to make sure you're keeping track of your miles. I have a little book in my car that actually Kathy's husband Joey started. My uncle Jojo. And he started me a little book in the car, and he keeps it. He kept it in the dash, and it had tires rotated on, you know, September 2004, new battery on July 1st, 2006, stuff like that. You know, That's he smart. kept a log, and then I started keeping the log uh, when. So like everything about my car is in that little thing. I've kept all their kept all their seats and stuff. But I keep all my receipts and stuff. Listen, I love my car. I think I need to get my tires rotated. Probably. I need to get my uh, oil changed. But we weeded it, guys, super, super quick. That this is going to look so, so cute. Now we got to take all the labels off this stuff. And that's annoying here. But, guys, go get your pro course. Go get your membership. Another sale we're having today, and... Um, it's a, it's a good one. It's a big one, guys, is the Summer Summit. Now, that Summer Summit yes. is coming up faster than you can believe. That sucker is going to be here in like two weekends, then it's here. Yeah. Okay, the 27th and the 28th this month, the summit will be happening. And if you've never attended a summit, you don't know what a summit is, it's an awesome like virtual craft conference over two days, like I said, July 27th and 28th. Me and Tanner will be here around 10 a.m., uh, Eastern time uh, to just craft with you guys and we're going to be live and then we'll be showing classes five classes a day from uh, their pre-recorded classes from all different types of teachers myself Tanner Courtney we've got Carly Hall teaching a class all about um, infusible inks we have Jen from Jen something turquoise she is um, doing a ton of awesome wedding stuff love that I mean we just have so Leah Griffith is here making a beautiful paper fern we have so much goodness and if you want to be a part of that goodness you have to opt in now but it's 30 bucks off so use the code summer2 at checkout get $30 off of that you can get $30 off of your become a die cutting pro cricket edition that is an amazing class for any cricket owner if you own a cricket x4 air 2 or a maker you need to take that class you will get so much learning and teaching and valuable information from that course you will absolutely love it and it's just so much crafty stuff coming. I'm, I'm so excited for all the craftiness coming up this month and the months to come because we're also gearing up for Christmas. And that's another reason why you really need to get that yearly membership for $20 off using the code MAKE at checkout because Christmas is coming up. This is the time of year when there's deadlines. We really have to get the house decorated, this decorated. It's all very, very important to get everyone geared up for Christmas. And it's, it's going to be here before we know it. I know we're like... I know Blake's probably thinking like, Rachel, honey, it's July. Oh, no. But It'll listen, be here fast. It will be I'm here I'm excited fast. for fall. I love fall. Fall is my favorite time of year. I'll tell that to anybody. I like spring and I like fall. I got married in the fall and... Uh, you just love the spring. I just love the spring. <laughs> I just love the spring. Well, but said, are you, Judy said, are you going to clean the board with alcohol? No, because this is HTV. Good try, uh, though. Oh. I think that was a trick question. Uh, if I was doing vinyl on this, I know you might be making fun of me. Fun of me. You bet your butt I would. I know it's wood. I know it's porous and it doesn't help at all. But in my head, if it, if it, there's there's a fail, then I'm like, well, it's not because I didn't wipe it with alcohol. But we're gonna get out our amazing cricket printable guide that is 20 pages of awesome goodness, and I'm gonna see what temperature we needed to put this on. So I'm gonna flip over to this. And this is everyday iron-on, but we're using on wood. And it says to set it to 300, to press for 40 seconds, and to peel off warm. It has spoken. So, we're going to get Stella, Stella Bear here, and turn her on at 300, and then we're going to up her timer to 40 seconds. Don't you love the ease of this thing? And that's going to heat up. But, uh, this thing looks really good. Look how cute this looks. So I really like it, Rachel. Flip to the second camera and I'll show them. Let's do it. Show them this. Like, look at this, guys. So this is how it's going to look. And then this will be here. Oh, that's that's way too big. I could, it's okay. I can make this bigger. I can make that much bigger. But it's going to be cute. Look, this is something I can do while we're waiting on the ease press heat up. It's we like can, we can't 
definitely need to make this bigger. In my head, in design space, I was like, that needs to be smaller, but whatever. Oh. Okay. You can make her as uh -uh. big as you need. Woo! Six feet right there. Six feet. Amen, Blake. Okay. Just going to kind of, you can see what I'm doing here. Is this big enough? Oh, yeah, that's, that's perfect. perfect. Preach it, Blake. That looks good, Rachel. So we're just going to, oh, my gosh, it's already done heating up. I love Stella. Stella's so good to me. That little heating plate is so small. This is so cute. Okay. Are you going to be able to do it in one hit? In one what? In one press. No. I'm not a magician, Blake. Well, you know. So now I'm going to tie this around like two of them like that. And then I had an extra little this guy that I'm going to tie around here. And then you won't ever be able to see it. So I'm going to make it in the back. Yay, looky there. Oh, oh, heaven, that's adorable. Okay. Is that going in your house, Rachel? Duh, Blake. As soon as someone takes I pictures of it, it unless was. I steal it before then. Duh. I knew it. If you, if you don't make them for yourself, then, like, what's the fun? There's no fun in it, okay? So, our little easy press we have a done. We have a really good question. Oh, I'm ready. Um, Lisa would like to know how do you get the spontaneous font? How do you get it? Yeah. So where, have, where is the font? Where is so she's a member. She just wants to know where it's at. I assume. Maybe. I assume. We'll say that. Okay. Well, let's say for, for you know the sake of this that you're not a member. So first you would have to get the membership. So you'd have to click the link down below, go through the motions, get your membership. You'd have to get a yearly membership. But don't worry, guys, because it's twenty dollars off. So once you do that, you would come over here after your. Um, information was done and you have your um, account because you do get instant access so once you have this you're going to go over here and this is the main the main place that you'll pop onto on the side here you're going to go to fonts and you can either search it or you can hunt it down in uh, I would I would look at the fancier hand lettered here uh, or you can just search it so I'm just going to search spont and then boom spontaneous is right here and you can download this, and if you're using your iPad, then you will use the um, app called iZip. Now, it's so easy to do these fonts if you're on a desktop or laptop, but if you're using an iOS, a, uh, you know, your uh, iPad here, you will have to download the font. Uh, I think it's called AnyFont. Did I say iZip? AnyFont. AnyFont. iZip is for cut files. Yeah. It unzips cut files. But AnyFont is for a font. So I'll show you. So it says open an iZip. We're going to hit more and I'm going to scroll over here and then boom, oh, copy to any font. So we're going to go over to any font and I'll show you guys how we did this. So now you find it. So we're going to look for spontaneous here. And I'm pretty, uh, we already have it clearly, but yeah, we, we I did. think we can do this for um, different reasons. I would re-download re it maybe, I'm not sure yet. So we're, no, that's tater tots. So up here is spontaneous, <laughs> so we're going to tap it. And then there's just a big button that says install. We're going to tap install, hit allow, hit install. I'm not going to show you guys that. That's so funny. I cannot. <laughs> Why do you do that? Do what? They, I, I love when you like hide it. You're like, I'm going to hide this. Tanner wants me to. I literally accidentally showed it for a, like a YouTube video. Uh -huh. and he was like, Rachel, you can't do that. And I'm like, I know. I mean, it, it's a passcode. I mean, I wouldn't want anybody to see my passcode. That's you hit funny. next and then install. And install. I don't read any of it. You probably should. I don't. <laughs> then you hit done and it kind of takes you right back here. And then at this point, guys, you go through and kill your Cricut app and then reopen it. Because your Cricut app doesn't know that you have just uh, installed a font unless you um, kill the app and then re-upload it. Then it's like, oh, hey, you just downloaded a new font. Great. But, guys, I want to show you. I'll show you this later. Well, I'll show you this now because there's no better time than now. You know what I'm saying? So, guys, the membership, it is an amazing, amazing deal. Uh, what your perks are if you want to opt in for a yearly membership. These are just the yearly membership perks on top of all the other awesome perks that a yearly member would get. You get 160 fonts, a free commercial license, and three free e-courses. And those are to help you master your machine, 
to help you master your uh, software for your machine, and then how to build a business through die cutting. Now you can see the membership tiers broken down several ways here, and uh, you can see some uh, cut file and some, like examples of projects we've made. See some testimonials. What's included in every membership is new files every month, an exclusive Facebook group, free online teachings and full project tutorials. On the site over there, guys, there is a ton of project tutorials for almost every project we make on here, guys. All of the members get access to this printable guide. Everyone absolutely loves this printable guide, guys. It is 20 plus pages of terminology. You've got a ton of terminology here. You have blade charts to show you what you uh, can cut with which blade. And we have just pages upon pages of that. What we used... Um, Erica said that she canceled her design space because a maker's going to learn. Listen, this is what I'm saying, guys. This is like a one-stop shop. You don't, it is a one-stop shop, Blake. That's a great way to put it. I mean, we have all the online training. Courses. We have, we have uh, training, yeah. education. Uh -huh. And that's we something that design... The videos. We have the fonts. We have the cut files. We have a customer service. We've got, uh, like Blake said, all the teachings, all the help. All, we, we have a whole YouTube channel with free videos just trying to help everybody craft more. I don't, I mean, I don't, it's a one-stop shop that you really want to take advantage of. There's a uh, mat charts to show you what you should be cutting on what mat. Easy press temperature charts, like the one we use today. We have more terminology. And then we also have some uh, cheat sheets for adhesive vinyl, iron-on, and print and cut. So, and these are just growing, guys. We have more and more on the site. We have a ton over there so definitely go check that out the membership it is twenty dollars off which is exciting so guys i've really just been putting it off because I, i'm really scared about ironing on this wood because i just really don't think it's going to go very well but we shall see so just pray for me i think i can get it in two hits for sure like boom boom you know what i'm saying okay but we're just gonna we're just gonna start okay oh gosh i'm nervous okay i hit the button now we're gonna give good firm pressure for 40 seconds. So guys, ask your questions. Let me know if you have any issues. Let me know if you have anything going on. A good tip about ironing on wood is not to ever move it. Since you're not ironing on a shirt, it's not quite like fabric where that HTV kind of like bonds to that fabric. It's just bonding to this wood and then it's gonna dry and harden and then stick. That's the only bond that we're gonna get here. So moving it around and shifting it will be detrimental it could you know move your letters around and really mess up your design so make sure you're keeping it as still as possible and giving it some good pressure i see bubbles i'm excited okay oh, i'm flipping yeah, it around i'm nervous i'm going to set it back down here press that again i'm going to give good firm pressure here i'm going to let that cool i think it's really working blake i i believe in you rachel i think it's working good i, I thank you blake that's really making me feel better I really, I really think it's going to work. And then we're going to use a little hot glue to pop this on. And then this is going to be the cutest little home decor ever. If anyone you know is getting married, guys, let me just tell you from someone who was married Or recently, having like a baby. Or having a baby. That'd be cute too. Um, you could do the word mama. Mama established. Oh, yeah. That'd be cute. But uh, for someone who was married recently, the, like the personalized, the monogram, the things that people really put thought into meant a whole lot to me when I received them. I absolutely love them. I even had one friend and just last month she uh, had to miss my wedding. She had like a couple weddings in one day and my wedding was about an hour and a half away from where most of my family and friends live. So she just like a month ago actually gave me the gift that she had that she had had since my wedding. She finally gave it to me. It was so, so sweet. It was a beautiful cutting board, like a serving tray that you could use as a cutting board. And it had Langston on it and some really pretty like vines like this. And let me tell you, man, like it was just so, so sweet and just so thoughtful of her to not only get it for me, but to wait, wait around so long until I finally had time to meet with her and see her and stuff. I just, it was really, really sweet. I loved that, that kind of stuff. I loved all my gifts, of course, but the ones that you could tell people really put uh, some time and effort into, of course, mean, mean a lot to you as well. But this is looking really good. It's still super hot, and you know how wood gets. So I'm just going to kind of like fan it around to cool it down a little bit. And I don't know which I should peel up first. I'm kind of scared. Oh, man. Oh, that is... come up easy. Look, I'm, let, me, let me get in here. 
Let me get let me get all up in here. Wow, look at that. One word, guys. Flawless. I'm so impressed. I was so scared to use iron on, but I'm not scared anymore. If Tanner was here, it'd be better because Tanner's like the master at ironing on wood. That looks so cute. It Look does, at that. Okay, yeah. now for the finishing touches here. This is, I think, going to be the... That's going to be really cute. I don't even know how to stick this on here. <laughs> I feel like I'm going to put way too much hot glue. I'm just going to do some globs here and there. Hot glue. Oh, that's... Oh, yeah. Hot glue globs. Oh, Rachel, that's awesome. Oh, oh, it's okay if you get some stringies. This is the cutest thing ever. Just going to say it. You all I'm need to go make you, this. Oh, Blake, thank you. This string. Stepping out of your comfort zone. Listen, Tanner, Tanner knows better. Tanner puts me on my butt out of my comfort zone all the time, but I'm always the better. I'm always better off for it. But he is the king of shoving me right out of my comfort zone. I'm just going to kind of bend down the ones that are sticking up a little, holding it down, letting it kind of, you know, get all nice and adhered down. Oh, this is so cute. And guys, you can do different colors if you want to do different colors. I'll move this so you can really see it, widen it out here more. But I mean, this, this guy is so stinking cute. Look at it. I love this. You're guys. doing a great job. This right is now. one of my favorite projects that I think we've made in, in the past little while. And it, it, listen, guys, it's it's only been like half an hour. Like it, it was an easy project. It was. To make. That was a very quick. It's not. But but look at it, guys. Like this is so cute. And what if you'd been married? Like my grandparents, uh, this August they'll be celebrating 53 years of marriage. Oh wow! That's and like awesome. think if you had it had like your established date is that like just oh it's awesome. It's just really really cool to. But you don't have to have established. Like you could, you could put mama established, whatever. You could take this since there's six foot of it, and you could just line the outside of it if you wanted to get hot glue and line the outside. You could make this yourself, of course. You could make it way bigger. You could have little things hanging down, if you, and you could have your kid's name hanging on them. Or you could do pictures. Photos would be great. Yeah, yeah. you could hot glue some. Um, you can make it like a clothes pins yeah. back here. Hot pin, hot pin. Hot, hot pin. glue some clothes pins and have pictures down here. I mean, guys, get crafty. That's all I want. Imagine you to putting do. your grandparents' pictures on there. That would be really day. stinking cute. That would be super, super cute. That'd be really cool. But do we have any questions about this at all? Is anyone? I is think anyone, we're good. Are we good? I oh think my so. goodness! I'm excited, guys. Like you can switch cameras. I just wanna, I just wanna show this thing off. Like this thing is just the cutest thing ever. Like look at this thing. It's so cute. I cannot wait to steal this. I'm gonna have to bring it back. <laughs> this is one of those that I'm definitely gonna have to bring back. Whenever Tanner says, well, you know, we need these kind of projects or that kind of projects. So I'm like, okay, I'll get them, sure. I'll go get the tub with them in it, and then the next day I bring them all from my house because I've stole half of them. <laughs> but I feel like, hey, if they're getting used, I'm happy. But this thing is adorable. Yeah, well, I, that'll look good in your house, Rachel. Listen, Blake, it would look good anywhere. Look at this thing. It's so cute. But I got the wood from Hobby Lobby, the garland from Hobby Lobby. It was in the wedding section. Again, you guys might miss that. I literally was passing right by it and I was like, that's really cute. And then I came home and kind of just got inspired with it. I'd seen something kind of like this. They sell those at Walmart this. too. Those little garland? The little garland? Oh wait, I thought you were talking about the, the wood board. piece. They do sell the wood. Maybe that's where I got it. Maybe I got it at Walmart because it would have a Hobby Lobby tag if it was from Hobby Lobby. That's so I'm, I bet you money I got it from Walmart because I do most of the times when I go supply shopping, I'll go Walmart, Hobby Lobby, Dollar Tree, home. Like I'll just kind of make my rounds and they're all right there. Walmart, Hobby Lobby, and Dollar Tree right are like in, in the same, same parking area. lot. So it's really easy to hit all three and then get here. So I bet I just had a brain fart. I'm sure I got this at Walmart and it was pretty cheap too. And again, it has this little, you know. The boards are little, super affordable. Do what? The board is they like are. super affordable. Yeah, like you'd be was, really surprised. And it's already attached here. And it's just what I'm saying, guys. Like I, I could have made this. I'm looking at things right now that me and Blake could have easily made. got and stained. I bought more Jacko Bean, guys. They sell it at Walmart. I bought it with Blake. I thought that they were. It would only be at like Lowe's. Tanner said that um, Home Depot stopped selling it, but we were there, Blake, and. By gosh, there it was, staring us it. right in the face. And I was like, let's just see. And we didn't have to go another stop. No, 
No, I was so excited. I was we were like, not feeling that let's just say for kicks and giggles that it might be here. So we went over there. We were getting some spray paint anyways. We were right next to the uh, stains, and there it was, and we were so excited. So we went and got Jacko Bean. And then we had extra time to go get donuts. Then we went and got donuts. Don't tell them. No, I'm telling you. <laughs> we went and got donuts and lemonade. It was good. But we could have stained this. We could have gotten jute and stapled this here ourselves. It's easy, but what's easier is going and buying this for like $3. Yeah, it was such so a quick craft. It was a quick craft. And it's, again, perfect for someone that's getting married, really, guys. And I'm just saying, a lot of the gifts that you give people when they're getting married or maybe having a baby or whatnot are more expensive anyways and maybe don't even mean as much. Like if you, if you bought them like a dinnerware set, like that's expensive stuff and it doesn't, I don't think to them, I mean, they might be grateful. I'm not saying they wouldn't be grateful, but it wouldn't mean as much if they're, you know, kind of sentimental like I am. If you bought a $3 board, $2 garland, and some scrap iron on and made this. Like, this is so sick and cute. I, I love, love doing sentimental gifts. I love it. It's like so for sticky. Kendall and Michael's wedding shower, I like got stuff that I knew that they would think was fun and stuff. And then yeah. Christmas, I got you cards and stuff because I was like, I mm -hmm. know Rachel loves he that stuff. Me. And birds, I yes. got you a you bird You got me mug. my Walk by Faith journal I that did, I write in. Know. Yeah, he got me a mug. Let me tell you, Blake is a gift giver. He's a really I good I love giver. giving people gifts. Yeah, I do too, but my bank account does not. <laughs> me, mine Come too, Christmas, Rachel. man, I'm telling you. One year, and let me tell you, this is how amazing Tanner is and how well he knows me and how much he cares about me. One year for Christmas, he gave me, like, a work bonus, but he gave it to me after Christmas, and then he said, I'm giving it to you now because I know good and well if I gave it to you before Christmas, you would have spent it on other people. And I almost Aww. died, but he, that's true. Like, he knows me. He was like, I ain't giving her this right now, but he's the best boss. You guys are amazing members. If you're not a member, what are you waiting for? This it's is That's how we get to all. hang out with you guys. Well, yeah, that's the whole reason we get to hang out with you all is because you guys invest in us so we can invest right back in you. We're here almost every single day giving out, shelling out two videos. There's a live stream five days a week and there is a recorded video five days a week. Here in the lives, we get to ask you guys questions. You guys ask us questions. We have awesome live training if we have a craft fail we work through it it's just really really you know informative and communicative and then we have a video with like just the meat no live comments or anything like that coming out five days a week too we are here to inspire you guys to craft that is our mission every single day that's why we're here that's why we can do what we do and you guys are a big part of that so if you are not already a member go get a membership guys what are you waiting for tomorrow it ends, the sale ends. There's no more $20 off your yearly membership. If you have a monthly or six monthly, go ahead and upgrade. You need to upgrade. Go have some fun and upgrade that. You guys will absolutely love that as well. But guys, it was so fun to be here today. It I was fun. fun. I, Blake, had a, I had a lot of fun. Do we have any questions or anything? Um, Melanie would like to know where she could get the notebooks for the pro class. The notebooks for the pro class. Oh, there's a, yes, okay. So, I'm going to let you in on a secret, okay, a pro class secret, and it's really, really easy, okay. We did this. You can do this. If you have an office stapler and some copy paper, we made our own. We did. Oh, wow. So, you make that, and I'm not going to give too much away because this is for pro course member or pro course ticket holders only, but make that leather however big you want to. Once it's cut, measure it just in case, and then cut you several pieces of paper, uh, you know, fold them in half, staple them in the middle. You got yourself a DIY notebook there because I promise you ain't going to find one to fit that thing perfectly, and you don't want to have any craft fails or anything. So you're feel, feel free to buy one, you know, but if you don't want to, make one. That's a good question, though. Great question. Do you have anything else, Blake? Leslie said, well, Blake, my birthday is in October. If you want a gift, you just come on down to East Tennessee. <laughs> and we, will, we can all have dinner or something yeah. at Olive Garden because that's all that's in this town. All the <laughs> No, Blake, we're getting some stuff. We're getting we got chilies wow. this year. We got uh, we're getting fazolis <laughs> again. Fazolis. 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 We're getting that again. I mean, we love fazolis. And you know what? It's not great. 
But it's I, it's not there's nothing super special it's about not, it. It's not, but it's fa and I'm, I guarantee. But it's Fazoli's. It's like, like childhood. Just like every other place, just like Texas Roadhouse, just like Olive Garden, just like Chili's. As soon as it rolls up in this town, it I'll be, be sick of packed. it. Packed. I'll be. Sick oh of really? It. No, it'll uh, yeah, be packed. Because I no, I used to for my birthday and for all our date nights and special occasions, I would always want to go to um, Olive Garden in Sevierville. We would like go to Dollywood for a while, mm -hmm. see the Christmas lights or whatever, and then maybe go to Olive Garden. I would always do that and I, I freaking loved it. But now the Olive Garden is five minutes away from my house. I never really want to go. I don't know what that is. It's now just I because like, so like if things are exclusive, you feel like, so see Cafe Four, if we had a Cafe Four here, you know we would go every single day. Oh, but man. every time we go to Knoxville, we have to go. I couldn't just for my go. health. <laughs> <laughs> That's I wouldn't so go true. every day just for my health, man. Cafe Four in Knoxville, Market Square, if you are anywhere close, if you come by, you have to go, okay? It's so good. It's hands down my favorite place. It's but so good. My it's, favorite place it's used my to be favorite. Texas Roadhouse. <gasps> Villa Romano. Villa Romano. Blake is, guys, <laughs> Blake is still talking about that Italian place that we ate at the beach, okay? It was so good. God love Rachel it. did a good job. Rachel's good at picking Listen, food. everybody was like happy with me picking the food and I was happy to pick the food. I. If you guys know me or have seen me, I love to eat, and I have no shame in it. <laughs> I, I like to snack. I love to eat. But now I'll, I'm not picky either. My husband, oh, he oh, I'm a me picky with his eater. Pickiness. So does Blake, but it's okay. I live with it. But you I'm not picky. I'll eat anything. Now there's a few things that I won't eat, but I'll try everything at least once. I will openly try things because the way I see it. I could be living my life missing out on something that's delicious just because I meh, don't want to try it. So, and like, okay, here's the thing too. If, you, if you're watching right now, please back up and actually watch the, the good, like us teaching yeah, you how to make this. Yeah, that's a cool sign. <laughs> go, go definitely rewind this bad boy. But, um, I don't even remember what I was saying. We're talking about picky eaters. Picky eaters. And but, how you, you oh, yes, don't want right, to miss yes. out. So, I used to hate tomatoes. I wouldn't eat them on anything. I would eat tomato sauce on like spaghetti. I don't like ketchup. I wouldn't eat them at all. And I'm really trying to like tomatoes. So I've been like getting them on my burger. And Court was here a couple weeks ago and we made, I think it was called caprese, you know, and it's like the noodle with the pesto. Now that stuff's delicious. So I've been really trying to eat tomatoes in my salad and tomato. So like I you try that, to like those tomatoes. tomatoes the other night too. Did I? When yes, we were I up did. here, when we like shot two bottle rockets. With, without Tanner knowing, yes, I was about. <laughs> he was at the movies. Tanner went bye bye, and they started shooting fireworks in a neighborhood that uh, that's illegal. <laughs> but hey, you know what? It's okay. I wasn't a part of it. We did I, sparklers. We'll just say that. We did sparklers. That's it. And those were smoky sparklers, though. They, they were really but, cool. Uh, just be open minded. If there's a food that you feel like you don't like, try it again. Your body changes every seven Teresa years. Teresa just joined the year membership. Oh my gosh, Teresa! Congratulations. Go, as soon as you're done filling everything out, get your instant access. Go start browsing your fonts, look at the projects, look at everything, get inspired to create because that's what we're here to do. Do it. But guys, it was fun being here. Try foods is really what I'm saying. <laughs> we, went, we went from making a craft to saying try foods because you could be living your life not loving foods that you otherwise could be loving. So at least once try it. Like, I'm not going to try like snails and stuff, like escargot. I like that. That's not, mm -mm, no. But like I've tried squid what and calamari. What if you missing out, Rachel? I don't think I am. <laughs> I really don't think I am. Yeah, I don't know. I'm good. Sorry. But guys, go get your membership because you get really good things like this Cricket Printable Guide and access to a members only Facebook group that is 3,000 like minded crafters all gathered together. Just the other day, I saw. What was it? Someone posted a picture and they were just like, these are the only cans of spray paint. Which brand do I need? Like within five minutes, so many people were like, just telling. You need this. You yeah, need that. You need this. You need that. And the thing is, mo there's no, it's like a community. There's no, oh no, no, Cheryl is wrong. Do not get that. Oh, you need this. It's just everybody kind of giving their humble opinion. They'll back people up. People like other stuff. It's a family. There's no conflict, okay? Now, no family's perfect as well, so sometimes there are bumps in the road, but the whole community is amazing. It's like a family, and you guys make it like that. It's like 24-hour so, customer support. It is, like... But, like, but not customer is, support, but, like, 
I want to know what vinyl looks good on this. What color should exactly. I use for this? So that is a good difference between the two. So customer service is amazing for, hey, I can't get into my account or, hey, I upgraded my membership. And then the Facebook group is good for literally like everything else, you know, yeah. like, hey, guys, how have you been making this project? Did you guys like the live? I'm thinking about doing it with adhesive vinyl instead of HTV. What do you guys think? Like anything, post your pictures of your projects, post things that you've made. You can post things you made without the membership. Like you don't have to post just membership things. It's a community, guys. If you made something good from Cricut Access, post it and be like, I'm really proud of this, guys. And you will just have everyone lifting you up. It's just a community. If you ask for creative criticism, maybe they'll give it to you, you know, but everyone is just so, so nice there. And we just want to make you all better crafters. And that's what we're here to do. And that is what the membership does. It's what it's all about. So go get your yearly membership if you haven't already. $20 off using the code MAKE at checkout. If you want to become a die cutting pro with your Cricut, go get this. This is also $30 off using the code PRO2 at checkout. You can have the um, choice to get this amazing ebook that is full of goodness that you will not want to miss. And guys, go get your Summer Summit ticket because that's coming up in like two weekends. It's going to be so much fun. I cannot wait. I'm ready. The crafts are going to be popping. And guys, gear up for Christmas. Get your membership for Christmas. We're hitting Christmas hard. Today I've been making some Christmas projects and I will continue to throughout the week. I'm just really excited. I should start playing in the Christmas carols and just really get in the spirit. But we did last year. We did last year. But and like, I sent you that video. <laughs> you did. What? Well, it was like July. No, it was October. <laughs> well, was it was October. Well, then no, that's... no. I think it might have been before that. Maybe. Maybe. I don't know. But Blake, do we have any last minute questions before I say goodbye? Uh, where do you find the Pro Course ebook? Okay, I will show you guys. That's a good question. Okay, switch us over, Blake. And we will show them where to get that. Okay. So let's go over. Got to add one here. We're going to go to. Really? Really? No, I didn't want you to paste that. Wow. We're going to go to Maker's Going to Learn. And uh, I'm logged in. So if you're not logged in, it will say log in where it says log out. What you're going to do is you're going to go over to Courses. And right here is the Die Cutting Pro course. You're going to go over here, tap that, and then here you can read the details and everything. And uh, it shows you this is where you can um, submit your three projects because you do get certified as a die cutting pro if you choose to get the pro course, which is amazing. Here are all the awesome videos. And then here are member supporting documents. And here is the ebook. So here's where you find your ebook. Uh, if you have your tickets here and you can see it and it's just like the one that we have printed out here. It is the same thing only of course printed out in color. But one thing that I love about this, like what do we love about this? I love when you can tap it and yes. it takes you right to the... It's interactive guys. Interactive. And you're not, I, you're not wasting paper or anything. No, it's all... And you can totally have this. Just keep this on your dock on your maker and just open it like this if you want to. This is yours to keep forever. We will never take this away from you. You paid for your ticket. You get this um, awesome resource. I want to go see glass etching. So I tap it. Page 71 of 166. Boom, I'm here. If I wanted to go to the very last one, drop shadow in design space. Boom, 157 of 166. You can just see all the crafty goodness here. And it's it's fun, guys. It's a fun, it's a fun site. It's a fun membership. It's... It's completely a one-stop shop. You get the online trainings, you get the printable trainings, you get the videos, you get the projects, the full tutorials, you get the cut files, you get the fonts, you get the free commercial license. Guys, you get it all. Why do you need anything else? If you have a docketing machine that works with PNG and SVG cut files, don't miss out any longer. You have today and tomorrow. Tomorrow is the last day to take advantage of the $20 off using the code MAKE at checkout. And I really, really urge you guys to do that. You will absolutely not regret it. Go get your yearly membership. You'll love it. But guys, it's been fun and it's been real and it's been real fun. So <laughs> we're going to be back tomorrow. Hopefully it might be later in the evening. We'll see. I'll try and be here tomorrow. If not, then we will see you Thursday morning. 
But guys, we're going to go enjoy this beautiful afternoon. We are. Blake has got stuff to do. I think I'm going to make another Christmas craft or two. Woohoo! Um, but guys, have a wonderful day. Thank you so much for joining us. And I can't wait to see you next time. Bye.